foodborne illness remains common in the world in the united states as per the recent cdc study says that the foodborne illness affects millions of people and kills thousands of people in the united states itself these outbreaks also undermine the consumer confidence in affected products results in large recalls and diminish market demands how these foodborne outbreaks undermine the con confidence of consumers and big recalls from the market i'll give best examples in recent times last year we all know about barry caliber one of the giant candiment manufacturing industry which is located in swiss switzerland supplies across the globe especially in the europe market so the foodborne illness occurred in raw material raw ingredients while manufacturing the candiments so they recalled their product from the globe millions or billions of worth of money lost and they recalled the products so this is how the consumer confidence it undermines the consumer confidence the one best example like kinder joy also the best examples a substantial number of foodborne illness outbreaks occurs due to poor hygienic practices we all know microorganisms can survive in food processing environment or food handling environment and microorganisms can transmit in food processing environment through here h means through humans so improper personalizing practices humans and the e means environment air atmosphere water drippings condensation etc or water splashes these are all examples e and r is raw materials and h e r and e is equipments through the equipments also microorganisms can contaminate in food processing environment f s p c a food safety prevent to control alliance sanitation prevent to controls introduced hygienic zoning system as a potential prevent to control and environmental monitoring as a verification activity for zoning system and sanitary practices which are applied in rt sections environmental monitoring is used to verify the control programs designed to minimize or prevent the contamination of pathogenic bacteria in ready to eat sections effectively controlling or not the main purpose of environmental monitoring is that because this is the system environmental monitoring system it can be used to verify the control programs which are designed can effectively minimize or prevent the recontamination of pathogenic bacteria in high risk areas or rt sections it's a verification mechanism sanitation may not be the only control necessary to prevent the recontamination of pathogenic bacteria in rt section when you are processing raw products and cooked frozen shrimps are cooked products in the same facility in addition to the sanitation control programs we have to establish hygienic zoning system and environmental monitoring programs then only we can control the recontamination of pathogenic bacteria in ready to eat sections in this video we will discuss about the importance of environmental monitoring programs in ready to eat sections or high risk areas now let us start the video hi welcome back this is manmath welcome back to my channel so this video environmental monitoring program part 1 we will discuss about these five elements the first one is 
importance of food processing environment the second one is what is hygienic zoning system and why do we need hygienic zoning and the fourth one is objectives of hygienic zoning and fifth one is what does fda fisma says now let us discuss about importance of food processing environment food born illness outbreaks often result from poor hygienic practices forced lethality recontamination remains a serious concern so we must know the food processing environment how the bacteria will contaminate or will recontaminate in food processing environment especially in rt sections in food processing environment there are two different kinds of microorganisms one is transient microorganisms and the second type of category is resident microorganisms transient microorganisms may enter into a food establishment through humans environment equipments raw ingredients or raw materials air and water are dripping many ways which can easily controlled by general sanitary practices personalizing measures what about the resident microorganisms resident microorganisms become established in food processing environment they may find their way into corners and crevices are adjacent to the food contact surfaces they may settle in the ready to eat section or high risk areas refer to as environmental niches and harbor niches these residential microorganisms initially produce the slime and further it will form as a biofilm so which which will settle in the uh, food processing environment adjacent to the uh, food contact areas periodically recontaminate into the products just have a look about biofilms as you all knows microorganisms need a solid surface conditioned with sufficient nutrients for growth then once the microorganisms gets availability of sufficient nutrients it will multiply further and newly formed cells cling to each other as well as the surface forming a confluently growing colony of microorganisms as they grow and multiply the newly formed cells cling to each other as well as the surface forming a confluently growing colony of microorganisms when this mass of cells becomes large enough to entrap debris nutrients and other microorganisms a microbial biofilm is established biofilm is nothing but a, a community of interacting microorganisms embedded on polymerase matrix adhered to the food contact surfaces biofilm consists of largely water and polysaccharides and glycoproteins will form as extracellular polymerase substance now the second step is what is hygienic zoning a designed production area in a food establishment classifies the individual production areas by their risk and demands the specific functions and hygienic standards that is what about the hygienic zoning and then why do we need a hygienic zoning system because we need hygienic zoning system to differentiate the areas within a food facility to minimize the product cross contamination that's why we need a hygienic zoning system hygienic zoning system plays an important role in preventing or controlling recontamination of pathogenic bacteria in ready to eat sections or high risk areas now the fourth one is the object is of hygienic zoning to identify and separate high risk and low risk areas in a plant environment so that we can control the cross contamination of product and process so this is how the object is of the hygienic zone and what does fisma fda fisma says about environmental monitoring hygienic zoning system a food facility must conduct environmental monitoring and product testing if the ready to eat product is 
exposed to environment before being packed. Then we must establish environmental monitoring programs. That's what FDA FISMA says. So that's all about the video friends. In our part 2 video, we will discuss about how to design environmental monitoring program. And part 3, environmental monitoring, sampling and sampling frequencies and sampling zones and part 4 environmental risk assessment that's all about the video friends those who have not watched my videos please subscribe the link below and stay tuned for regular updates thank you and bye bye